So let me take a minute to show you something that I think is really important. I always use when I'm putting together a mural. And it gets a little bit into this Trump ploy work that's kind of a trend right now. I really don't know how to say it. But I think you, you know what I'm talking about. It means it's an Italian word for trick the eye. I think it's Italian. Anyway. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the horizon line that you see behind me. I posted earlier pictures on Facebook where this horizon had more of a tilt to it. And I, I corrected that so that when you walk in at eye level, if you're, you know, 12 years old, you know, you can see I'm hunched over. So someone of this height, and since this is a kid's playroom, I lowered the horizon line. These things are essential to having good depth in your picture. So you see how it appears nice and level now? That really improves the look of a painting is to have an eye level horizon. Now over here you can see that these trees, I'm going to correct those, not correct, I'm, I'm going to improve them on this video because something I always talk about is how the perspective shifts as your viewing position shifts when you look at a wall, since it's flat and it's not actual three-dimensional objects, the picture stays the same while your position moves and then the perspective is no longer right. So you have to choose an ideal location. So I've got this camera in the location that I want this mirror to look best from, right where you're viewing from. And you can see that these trees are kind of scrunched uh, up and, and I want to extend that horizon. Now this part right here, I'm going to extend this out so that as you come in, it's going to feel like you're looking more at this beach than looking at like you're going alongside of it and disappears. The whole thing, if you back up, looks all scrunchy. Look, let me back this up. I've got it on wheels here. So when you walk in, see how scrunchy that looks? That island, so by extending that out, I'll improve the way that horizon looks as a first impression when you walk in the room. Another example of the same thing where you, you skew things in order to make them look right from a certain position. Let me show you these rails over here. So from right here, if you look at that, let's see if I can get this to focus well. Okay, the top of that handrail, you can look at it. Let's get closer. Right here. Okay, so see, from here, you see it coming right through that corner. Now let me lower the camera and look at the top of that rail, how skewed it is. That is not a level line. So I pick and choose where I want the mural to look good from. And you can see also how black I make the shadows. Using a true black is real important if you want to make something look like an actual object in the room because black represents a real shadow with the absence of light. No black is a true black. Once a bright enough light shines on it, it becomes a shade of gray. But the blackest black I can find is the best for the job if I want to make something look like a dark shadow. Rather, you know, you don't want any color showing where in, in, the, in the natural world you would see lots of contrast and your eye is capable of seeing a completely dark shadow at the same time as perceiving brightly colored light. Whereas we can't produce that with paint, because paint doesn't, doesn't glow. And if you shine a bright light on your painting, then you lighten the blacks. So you always have to just settle for a much lower contrast level in a painting than what you're able to achieve in, in well, than what, what the real uh, world actually looks like. Anyway, back to the point. I'm showing you a couple things. Skewing shapes in order to look better from one angle. So you can see that. Another place I did this, let me look, see. So I'll raise it back up to the ideal angle. Now look at those round uh, spindles or whatever you call those. Let me come over here and look at the shape of these guys. Okay, look how, look how fat the curves are. How fat they pop out. And then look at the one over there on that wall. That has a nice smooth curve to it, but these, I made them real fat and they bulge out a lot. And that's just so when you walk in, it looks normal from this angle. So that it looks like the picture is passing through the corners of the wall. It looks much more three-dimensional. So I'm just choosing that I want 
this mural to look best from right about here. And so I'm going to work on that a little bit. So I'll run some time lapse of me changing this horizon. Watch how I take. Um, let me sit this down. Watch how I take these trees. See these green trees. In order to make this look a little better, those trees over there on the edge. I'm going to gray those out a little bit and make them look further away and make the line that runs across the top of those bright green trees more level also. I'll show you what I mean. So what I did here is I extended that, see I'm looking at the screen now, so I can see I extended that out, tapered it out to be more distant on the part of the wall that is closer. So this whole thing extends across the corner and it gets rid of the feel of the closing corner because it, I put my closest part of the picture, which is right here, see this line that comes, you know, where the shadow stops and the bright sand starts, it goes, then it starts turning upward right here, so my lowest point is right here, which makes that look like the closest portion now, whereas before it had a more of a continuous drop down that way which kind of skewed the whole picture. So now I have made it so that I have this perspective that bends out to both sides passing through the corner of the room and creating a greater feel of depth. I took those trees right here below my hand and I dropped the top of those down so it would be consistent all the way across right there because then that's not telling you again that this whole thing is swooping up and skewing the picture. The more level it is, the more it is like you're looking straight at a horizon. So those level lines are an important part of making the picture look natural from where you're standing. And you'll see that you saw me leveling out a lot of these portions. While the average of it still comes down, there's a lot of flat lines along the way that tell you that you're looking toward a horizon. Now, you can move, if you're at this eye level, this height, if you're a kid coming to play in this room this tall, you can move all around and see how that horizon stays level. It doesn't, it doesn't get all skewed, whereas if I do the same thing at a different level, so let's go up high, raise it up, okay. Now watch what happens as I go around the room, okay. So it's not level, it's tilted down, okay. As I come this way, it's level, and then it's not level. You see what I mean? Let me get my head out of the way. See? That line gets skewed as you turn. And that's exactly what makes murals look more flat. So all I'm doing is trying to optimize the mural for one particular angle in the room, which is the one where I have this placed. See right there. Back up. So this, this job's been like off and on and off and on. They came in to do furniture, then I could come back. It's one of those jobs I'm kind of playing ping pong with. That's why I've been here forever. I'm posting yet another video out of the suit. So while the time lapse is rolling, I want to take the opportunity to show you this song that my brother Ben and I recorded about a year ago. But since I'm painting murals and he's making videos, neither one of us are doing anything with our recordings. But we do like get together and have some fun. So you can check out this mellow kind of coffee shop too while you're watching the time lapse of this. She promised to love him and swore that she always would back when love was such an easy thing to do. She was only a child, so happy to wear his ring. Such a long, long time ago Now she takes the long way home She takes the long way Sip on his coffee Pretend he's indifferent He'll watch the 
beautiful strangers come and go well, Who needs the trouble? Love is a silly dream And when he sleeps tonight Like they said it would 